The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 7, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 11th of July, 1973, in London, England. Sri Rupam O oh, best of the Brahmanas, for your information, let me tell you about the captains who are especially qualified to lead my military force. So, formerly, 5,000 years ago, the same system, military, ordinary soldiers, then the captain, then the commander, the commander-in-chief, as there are gradation. In the modern age, the same thing was there. But Maharatha, uh, they had good qualification. Maharatha means alone he could fight with many other charioteers. They are called Atiratha, Maharatha. There are different grades of fighters. So, so far, Pandavas are concerned, their son, Subhadra. Subhadra means Abhimanyu. Subhadra's son. Because he was Subhadra's son, his name was Subhadra. Draupadi's son, they are called Draupadiya. In Sanskrit, just like Bhagni, sister, Bhagini. Her son is called Bhagineo, Bhag nephews. So there is a link. As soon as we speak Subhadra, that being Subhadra's son. The Subhadra's son, he was only sixteen years old at that time. He was married with Uttara, the daughter of Maharaj Virat. So they are all Maharathas, ordinary, not ordinary fighters. This Obimanna was killed by conspiracy by same commander in chief. Bhishma, Karna, Dhanacharya, Asatthama, they all surrounded him and they did not allow him to come out. They are very experienced commanders. So this, this is Khatriya spirit. You are simply a boy, sixteen years old, and he had to be killed by the combined efforts of very, very big commander in chiefs. He was so great fighter. Avivanna. Avivanna So Shravatra, Draupadi, similarly, Draupadi's sons also there. Sarva Eva Maharatha. Maharatha means one who could fight with one thousand chariots on the other side. They are called Maharatha. Then Dujyadan, first of all, he pointed out the military strength of the opposite side. This is intelligence. One should take calculation of the opposing elements uh, or the enemy's side. In fighting, the first thing is to take estimation of the enemy's side, how much they are strong, how they have arranged. Then one should calculate how to counteract how to fight with them. This is intelligence. Without taking any calculation of the other side, if you are not prepared, then how you can become victorious? This is same proposal. That is, 
ઉપાયન ચિંતિત પ્રાગ અપાયન છે ચિંતિત એ પ્રાગ એ ઇન્ટેલિજન્ટ મેન નોટ ઓનલી થિંક ઓફ ધી બ્રાઇટ સાઈડ ઓન ધીસ બિઝનેસ આર ધીસ ફાઇટ આર ધીસ એન સો મેની થિંગ્સ વી હેવ ટુ ડીલ વિથ સિમ્પલી વી શુડ નોટ કેલ્ક્યુલેટ ધી બ્રાઇટર સાઈડ there is darker side on we should always think if there is some thief if there is some rogue the cheaters then what precaution i am going to take and this is intelligence if i simply calculate that in this business i will make so much profit in the meantime somebody comes and cheats me and go away then therefore upan chintayat prag apan ch chinta darker side also should be thought that is intelligence just like that after calculating the darker side enemy means darker side they can defeat me at any moment that is darker side so after calculating their strength then the jadhan is speaking about his own strength asmakam tu visishtyaji visishta not to speak of the ordinary soldier but at bishista bishista means to her specifically to be mentioned high officers asmakun to bishista ji kamini bodho dijottam he was in commanding in chief for 18 days there was fight and one after another a commander chief was killed and 64 crores of men were killed in the battle field of kurukshetra and the battle was finished within 18 days not lingering for some years no fight to the best capacity and finish the business no. so everyone both the sides pandava side and kaurava side all were killed the so vadra dropodaya everyone was killed and the other side also only the five brothers they remained and the one grandchild who was in the home of the mother he remained otherwise everyone is finished oh, within 18 days such a great fight it was and people from all parts of the world they joined the battle of kurukshetra somebody was criticizing me the shami ji you are introducing this hari krishna movement people are becoming coward they simply chant hari krishna so i replied that you will see the power of hari krishna movement in due course of time he required because there are two battles in india the battle between ravan and ram hmm. ram ravan the battle of rama and another battle was battle of kurukshetra and in these two battles the hero was vishnu and vishnu in the ram ravan battle Lord Ramchandra was there, and his devotee Hanuman, Bajrangi. Similarly, in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, Krishna was there, and his devotee Arjuna was there. So, Vaishnavas they do not simply chant Hare Krishna. If there is need, they can fight under the guidance of Vishnu and become victorious. a vaishnavas one qualification is out of 26 qualification one qualification is dukha expert if there is need of fighting they can fight like very expert that is also needed krishna's krishna consciousness does not mean one side krishna as all pervading 
the Krishna consciousness movement also should be all pervading. It should touch everything, even politics, sociology, everything is required. And that is then. Because Krishna's mission is yada yada hi dharma saglani bhavati bharata paritranayam sadhunam vinasaya cha duskita. There is two mission. Not only to give protection to the devotees, but also to kill the demons. To kill the demons. That is one side. So the devotees of Krishna should be trained up both ways. Not only to give protection to the devotees, to give them encouragement, but if need be, they should be prepared to kill the demons. That is Vaishnavism. It is not cowardism. It is not cowardism. Why need be? Generally, a Vaishnava is non violent. Just like Arjuna. In the beginning, he was non violent. Vaishnava, he said, Krishna, what is the use of this fighting? Let them in God. So, oh, by nature, he was non violent. But he was induced by Krishna to become violent. Then your non-violence will not help. You become violent. You kill them. I want. So if Krishna wants, we shall be prepared to become violent also. And Krishna, that is that is open secret. That paritrana sadhuna vina sajadaskita. Two business of Krishna, two sides. So those who are devotees of Krishna, they should be trained up both ways. They should be prepared. But generally there is no question of becoming violent, unnecessary. As the modern politicians unnecessarily they declare war. A Vaishnav does not do so. No, unnecessarily. There is no need of war. When it was completely impossible to settle up the things between the Pandavas and the Kauravas. Then Krishna said, all right, then there must be fight. When Duryodhan declined to spare in a portion of land holding the suchagra, the point of a needle, he refused that I cannot spare in so much land which can hold the point of a needle. Then the war was declared. Uh, there is no question of settlement. Otherwise, Krishna requested that these five Pandavas, they are Kshatriyas. They cannot become merchant or Brahmana. Brahmana's profession is Patan patan jajan jajan dan pratigya. Brahman can take charity from others. A sannyasi can take charity from others. Not a chatriya or griyastha. No. That is not allowed. So they are chatriyas. They cannot take the profession of a brahmana. Neither they can take the profession of a mercantile man, businessman. They must have some land so that rule over, take taxation, and that is their living means. So spare only five villages to these five brothers and settle up. Or what Dujjadan replied, no, sir. What do you speak of five villages? We cannot spare even so much land which can hold the point of needle. Then the war will. So Vaishnava, they are non-violent. But if need be, they can become violent, what Krishna said. This is the battle of Purikshanta. So anyone? Or end here. All that end here. Chant Hare Krishna.